Okay, we're going to get started on our letter U folder. Remember that Miss U is a letter light. See her hidden letter U over here. And up here at the top, we're going to put the letter U. It says learn about letter light. And we're going to put U right there on the line. And then down here on the bottom, it says letter light U has an unusual umbrella. And I'm going to write my name on this big long line. So I need you to write your name on your line and do your very best work. And now if you want to, you can start coloring Miss You, or I'm gonna go ahead and get started on the rest of our folder. So you might wanna come back and color her later or pause the video and you can start coloring her now. In the meantime, I'm going to open up my folder. I'm gonna fold it back like we used to do in our classrooms. I'm gonna put it back underneath our camera and we're gonna talk about letter light use pictures up here at the top. So up here, we're gonna talk about things that start with the uh, uh, or the U sound. So the first one we have is an umbrella. Uh, uh, umbrella starts with letter U. So we're gonna circle umbrella. What about ant? Ant. Uh, uh, ant. No, I don't think that starts with it. So I'm going to use a different um, crayon and I'm going to actually put an X on that because ant starts with another vowel letter. Remember? Ah, ah, ah for letter A. All right, our next picture right here, I'm going to go in a circle. Our next picture right here is a, let's call it a dog. D, 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 dog. Does dog start with you? No, what if I called it a puppy? What if we called it a pu pu puppy? Does puppy start with you? No, we're looking for the uh, uh, or the u sound. So we're gonna put an X on that because it doesn't start with either one of those. But this last one, he's calling this guy out or is he calling him safe? Could be that he's calling him safe, but this person is an umpire. So our umpire, was one of our words, wasn't it? So we're gonna circle the umpire. Okay, now these words are a little tricky because it says letter light U in the middle pictures. So do you remember we talked about the first sound, our onset sound, then we have the middle sound, and then the final sound. So we're looking for the middle sound. We did middle sound before with our phonics. This happens to be a P in. So, p, i, n. So, i is the middle sound, and I'm going to actually write the word p, i, n, and it wants us to look at the middle sound. So, I'm going to circle our middle sound. And what is that? Do you know? We haven't done that letter yet, but it's the i, 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 which is an i sound. And so, this doesn't have a u in it, does it? We're going to put an x on that. But this one over here, let's sound out the first sound is, first of all, it's the picture of a sun. And the, so the first sound is s, s, middle sound, uh, 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 oh, do you hear it? Final sound, n, n, s, uh, n. So you can see right here in the middle, we have a letter U. Oh my goodness. So we're going to circle this because sun has the middle sound. It has the middle sound. What about this picture? This is a nut. So let's sound it out. First sound or onset sound is n. Middle sound, uh, uh, uh. Final sound is t. Sounding it all out. N, uh, t. Nut. Nut. So does nut have the U in the middle? It certainly does. So we're going to circle our nut right here. All right. Our last word. What is that? Do you guys know? Is it, did you say ham? Let's sound it out. That's our onset sound. Ah, 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 ah. Mmm is our final sound. Mmm. So in the middle, we have a ah, ah, ah. 
So what are we going to do to this? We're going to put an X because that is definitely not a U in the middle sound, is it? All right, boys and girls, turn your paper over. We are going to do some sentences. So we have different sentences. The first thing I want to do is sound them out up here at the top. B, uh, s, bus, bus, b, us. Our next word, n, uh, t. N -ut, nut. Our next word, s uh, n, s -un, sun. Our last word, m uh, d, m -ud, mud, mud. Okay, so we're going to use these words in our sentences. So here's our pictures. Here's our capital letter. Here's our punctuation. What is that a picture of? What is that? Is that a sun? So here we have a sight word, the. Something is up. So this word right here needs to match our picture. What, what did you say it was? Did you say it was a sun? Good job. We're going to write sun. S, a, n, s, u, in. Let's see if that sounds right. The sun is up. up. The sun is up. Good job. Let's go to our next one. Here's our capital letter. And it's an I, which means it says its name, I. Here's our punctuation mark at the end. So we have several sight words in this. I like to go on the, hmm, what is that? What's that a picture of? I like to go on the, hmm. Oh, I forgot to mark out my son up here. So we're gonna look up here and do you think, is it this word, bus? B, a, uh, s, b, us, b, us, bus. I like to go on the, Bus, punctuation mark. Good job, boys and girls. We have one more sentence to do. I'm going to mark out our bus up here because that way I know I'm not going to use those words again. I've already used them. So we have some sight words down here. Capital letter, punctuation mark, C, the, p, up, p, up, pup, in the, hmm. Hmm. So we have two words. We have nut, nut, and mud, mud. So which word are we going to use? See the pup in the nut? No. See the pup in the mud? Let's write mud. M, a, d, mud. M, u, d. Okay. See the pup in the mud punctuation mark. All right, we are going to take our folder. We're going to close it up. And we have one more thing on the back. Let me pause my show, my video. I'm so sorry, boys and girls. Bo is really barking today, isn't he? He saw somebody outside. We are back and we're going to do our matching. So look, I have four different numbers. Here's three, four, six, and two. And I, so I've got four different colors. Yellow, pink, purple, and this orangey red color. So I'm going to color the number three purple like this. And you know Miss Holly does hers quickly. And then we're going to match the umbrella over here. So which other one should be purple? Should it be this one? One, two, three, four. Not that one. One, two, not that one. One, two, three. Oh, this one. I'm going to color it purple. And then I'm going to put my purple up because nothing else on here is a three. I'm going to color my number six, this orangey red color. I think it's a, more of an orange color. What do you think? And I'm going to look over here. Now, we already know this one is four because we counted it. And this one is two. So let's look at this one. See if this is six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes. 
it is. So we're going to color this orange right here. Okay, now I already did six, so now I'm going to use my yellow, and I'm going to color this number four yellow. And do you remember which one was number four? I think it was this one. One, two, three. It is this one. One, two, three, four dots up there. I'm going to color that one. And then my last umbrella is which one? Number two. We're going to color it pink. Now, you don't have to color yours the same color I did mine. You can choose four other colors if you want. But be sure you fix it so you can match them. The other thing you could do is you could take a line and draw it from here to here. Take a line and draw it from here to here. Another line is going to go over and around to here. And my last one is going to go down here to that one. So you do whichever way you would like. Boys and girls, have a great day.